Hey guys, 안녕하세요. I like technology, media, note taking, and learning Korean. Let's put them all together. Do you know Notability? Today I will be discussing tips and tricks for learning a language, specifically Korean, on the iPad Pro app Notability. If you don't know what Notability is, it's a great note taking app with many features. It's about a $9 one time purchase or so on the App Store, but I can tell you it is worth it. For my Korean audience, yes, Notability is available in Korean too. Notability is a great app for many different uses. People use it for school, work, hobbies, studying, journaling, or just drawing fun notes. However, when I went on YouTube and saw videos relating to Notability and language learning, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of content about that topic, so we are doing it today. I personally prefer digital notes instead of a paper and pen because it looks cleaner and I usually make a lot of mistakes on paper, so having a digital notebook is just easier for me. If your handwriting isn't the best, I highly recommend this app. I have personally benefited from these tips, but depending on your learning style, you may want to make adjustments if needed. So here are my tips and tricks for learning any language on the Notability iPad app. First tip, use split view on your iPad to watch videos or PowerPoints and take notes at the same time. This tip is very helpful if you want to see both your notes and the video you are watching. It could be a drama, variety show, or a YouTube video on one side, and your notes and slate on the other. You can take notes while you are watching and pause when you find a word or phrase you want to write down how you do it. Pull up from below and bring the app to one side of the screen. Second tip, make notes on a PDF file. Let's say you found a really useful list or image file on the internet with useful phrases or words. If you import the file into Notability from Dropbox or Google Drive, you can easily mark up the PDF with your own notes. I use this feature all the time for my PDF workbook homework for my Korean class. I like how you can easily draw and erase things without messing up a physical piece of paper. How you do it. Import a PDF from Google Drive, Dropbox, or wherever you store it, open the PDF within Notability, and start marking. Third tip, write a virtual journal in the language you're learning. This is really useful, especially on Notability, since you don't have to worry so much about making mistakes in your handwriting you can easily erase or undo. And this is just for you to experiment with, try different words out, or customize your writing. No one is judging how good your writing looks, and it is a good way to express your thoughts, feelings, and events in your life in that language. How you do it. Make a new page and start writing anything. Fourth tip, make it colorful. If you are a very visual person like me, labeling things in different colors goes a long way. Notability has different colors to choose from while writing, and you can choose your writing tool as well. Color code the lists you make. Make it your style. For example, I can label different parts of a sentence with different colors. Maybe blue will be subjects, green will be verbs, and for Korean, particles will be red. How you do it. Select your writing tool and change the color. And finally, my fifth tip, the microphone feature. Notability includes a microphone feature to record yourself, someone else, or some audio to insert into your notes. This can be useful when trying to speak Korean on your own or with a friend. Try having a conversation and take notes with it. <laughs> it's great practice. How you do it. There is a mic button at the top. Press it and it will record your voice. The settings are in the arrow beside it. 안녕하세요 여러분, 저는 빅토리아입니다. 안녕하세요 여러분, 저는 빅토리아입니다. Those are all the tips I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and like for more content. See you. Bye.